Hi guys, good morning. It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday morning at around 8.30 a.m. and I am getting ready to go to the farmer's market because that has to be my favorite solo activity and I all weekend have kind of just been hanging out with myself because I'll get into it more, but I haven't been vlogging because I've been dealing with some health issues. So I've been staying in a lot, but Sunday morning is my favorite day of the week to get up early, go get some produce, and also a bagel sandwich. The bagel truck Yeasty Boys finally has gluten-free bagels. I wanna say it's been two years that it took them to get gluten-free bagels, but now I can go to the farmer's market and get a gluten-free bagel sandwich, which is really just all I want in this lifetime. Of course, my camera battery is dying because that's just how this goes. I just applied the Super Goop Unseen sunscreen and I'm really going light on the makeup today because my skin has been looking really good lately. I got a chemical peel, I wanna say last week, at Hay Day, which is where I get facials. And now I need to drink this entire mason jar before I leave the house because I have been dealing with headaches every day while I'm adjusting my anxiety medication. Because long story short, I have been having a ton of fatigue and usually that would be an indicator that my autoimmune disease is off, but I had my blood tested and everything was stable. So we were just trying to figure out what other piece of the puzzle could be causing this extreme fatigue. I've always been a sleepy girl, but it was just getting out of hand that it was affecting my productivity and it was so frustrating. Like I didn't want to be taking naps. I just physically could not keep my eyes open. My doctor and I think that I'm on too much anxiety medication for where I'm at in life right now because when I first started it, I really needed it. I was a freshman in college. There were so many new experiences, ups and downs, a really high, high level of stress. And where I'm at in life right now, I plan my own deadlines. I'm very in control of how much stress I'm undergoing and I'm at a really stable place with my friendships, relationships, and life. And so it seems like a good time to go down on it a little. Not completely go off it, that's not what I'm looking for, but just to reduce this fatigue I'm having. But if any of you guys have gone on or off anxiety medications, SSRIs, you get a lot of uncomfortable physical sensations like brain fog, exhaustion, headaches, nausea. It's been about a week, but I've been having headaches every single day. And so what I'm doing to try and help is drink a ton of water, um, eat really hearty meals consistently, always have snacks on me, and just not push myself too hard because I'm not at my full capacity. Oh, can you see my shoes? Let me angle that down. Gotta see the shoes. Okay, super simple out for the day. This skirt is realization par. It's honestly one of my favorite pieces in my closet. It just goes with everything and makes me feel amazing. Um, and then I'm wearing that with some loafers and socks. I only had high socks, so I'm just scrunching them up until I do laundry. I thought I would just roll with these socks. Um, and then this top is just a t-shirt that has a raw hem really really basic i just parked and i am ordering my yeasty boys bagel i am getting the mishka on gluten-free everything with scrambled egg i want to be full if you're ever visiting la um, or going to a yeasty boys bagel truck it will always be faster to order on your phone than wait in line just word of advice it isn't the best gluten-free bagel I've ever had. I think my favorite is still Pops in Brentwood because they make them fresh. You see them baking them as you're walking in and this is obviously a truck, um, so they can't be as fresh. But it's really just the fact that they exist <laughs> is so nice because Every time I would go to the farmer's market, I wasn't able to get a bagel sandwich and everyone else has the bagel sandwiches and it just like, it hurts. It's really hard to be gluten-free. It's like the social aspect that I think is the hardest, but today that changes. <laughs> Amazing. I also could probably do an Alfred order on my phone as well, 
but I don't really mind walking down into their cute little cafe and ordering, so I will be getting my pumpkin spice latte as well. God, it's a good day. Alfred pumpkin spice latte review. The pumpkin settles really quickly, but the flavor is truly unmatched. Like it tastes like true natural pumpkin pie. It's delicious. It gets a 10 out of 10 and it's here till November. So I will definitely be having more of those. If it wasn't 80 degrees, I would have got it hot because I do think they are better hot. I got three pounds of tomatoes to make tomato soup with. I got some spinach and green onions because my Trader Joe's is actually always out of green onions. And I even asked the workers about it. They said that they just go really fast. Like someone's coming in the morning and buying all of them. I got two little sweet onions. I hope these zucchinis are okay. They were at the bottom of the bag. Two beautiful zucchinis. And I got whole butternut squash, which I'm not gonna lie, is a little bit ambitious. You can also buy cubed butternut squash at Trader Joe's, but I just saw these and figured I can do it. These are small. I can probably cut them in half and roast them whole. We'll see. I think that'll be also fun to experiment and show you guys. Then I got these grapes because they were giving out samples and like I said, thank you, grabbed it, kept walking, ate the sample, and immediately had to run back and ask them what it was. They were just so bright and really, really crunchy. Like the skin is really thin, but crisp. Spinach, artichoke, and garlic hummus, and roasted ranchera salsa, which is my favorite thing to have on top of scrambled eggs. There was this very sweet elderly woman who was just raving about these eggs and saying that they are the best eggs ever. It's the best decision you'll ever make to start buying them there. So I'm excited to try these. These are from Don Beto's Farm. Gorgeous. They even had some jumbo ones that were actually crazy big. I've like never seen them that big. And I think the only thing I forgot to get was avocados. Other than that, I'm pretty much set for the whole beginning of the week and a lot of recipes. When I was putting away the groceries, I noticed that one of the tomatoes actually split in my bag. So I'm just gonna make the roasted tomato soup now. It's a very hands-off recipe. You just roast all of this at 450 for about 50 minutes, which I know sounds like a really long time, but it's worth it for that really roasted flavor that it imparts. So all you need is half of an onion or one small onion three pounds of tomatoes. I'm using these cute tomatoes on the vine and then a couple heirloom tomatoes. And you also need a head of garlic that you're gonna wrap in foil and put a little bit of olive oil on. Also the knife I'm using is from Our Place. I've been using them for a couple months now and I am so impressed with how sharp they are, how comfortable they are to hold. This is a much larger chef's knife than I am used to, but I feel really safe using it and I feel like it has actually improved my knife skills because it is sharper and more accurate. Like you can just see how smoothly it cut all of my tomatoes. Now I'm coating everything in avocado oil and seasoning it with salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. I took the tomatoes out after 50 minutes. Everything looks perfect. And now I'm gonna blend everything that now that it's cooled with a cup to two cups of vegetable broth along with some coconut milk. You can also use oat milk. I'm gonna heat this up in the microwave real quick. Ignore the sunglasses and doors. My head hurts so bad. Thought I would give you guys a taste test. That is so good. The roasted garlic really makes all the difference. 
If you try making this, I highly recommend eating it with a grilled cheese with some pesto. It is just the best flavor combination, but I didn't have the energy in me today to do that. So I just have some toast, which is also delicious, obviously. Unfortunately, my headache is getting pretty bad. So I closed all the drapes in my apartment and I'm probably just gonna like huddle up in bed after this, but I, highly recommend this recipe it is so good and it makes enough soup to like have one serving now freeze a serving for later and still have soup for like three days during the week which is ideal for me that is pretty much it for my sunday and i will see you guys later